Well, good morning again. Uh, as you can see, I've already done a lot of work on the vehicles here. And I didn't do any video uh, of the in-progress up to this point because the uh, techniques used to do these guys are pretty much the same, really exactly the same, as the te techniques used to do the uh, to do the aircraft, and so uh, the results are essentially identical. And I didn't want to go through the whole thing without at least doing a brief update and talk a little bit about the process. Um, what I kind of wished I had done is talked in some detail while I was doing. Uh, these guys, the I don't even know what they're called, but the essentially the tanks, and the reason is that um, there is a seam that runs. Let me see if I can take the turret off. You might be able to see it better. That runs the length of the hull, um, and you can kind of see where the turret goes, where there's some patching there. And I think even here, you can kind of see a little bit as the light catches it, right? You can kind of see where I had to uh, where I had to fix that. And that was really the only. It, it wasn't it wasn't hard to fix, but it was to me it felt kind of unnecessary. I'm really kind of disappointed with the decision to uh, to cast the pieces like that. Um, and overall, I would say that um, I'm not overly pleased with the casting on these parts. Even with the replacement pieces that I got, the replacement pieces were fine, but the fact that I had to uh, replace so many, and even the ones I didn't replace, still had issues and, and you know not not quite so bad that you you're you want to replace them but bad enough that you just feel a bit disappointed by them but the final results are nice I uh, you know I think that the uh, and not that these are final results but at least on the aircraft um, I'm pretty happy with with how they turn out and uh, you know once you get them on the tabletop and you stop looking at these things through uh, uh, magnifiers, um, you won't really notice the issues. It's it's re really one of those things that you see as you're looking really, really close at every model. And uh, so it all just sort of jumps out at you as being a particularly bad issue. And maybe it's not that bad. So anyway, uh, today I'm doing things like uh, tank treads. Not all of them are painted yet, and they're going to get a coat of black, and then they're going to get a dry brush of lead belcher. Um, just to pick out the details, I really do want them to be dark. Um, as you can see, these look a little bit grungier than the aircraft, and that is intentional. I figure the, uh, the ground pounders are going to be picking, a lot, picking up a lot more dust and dirt than the uh, than the aircraft will so the aircraft tend to look a little bit more pristine um, what else I got little lights and little uh, um, sensor balls and I don't even know what the hell they are uh, and just other little tiny details and cleanup and you know so that's going to be the rest of my day today but by the end of the day this project should be complete and by the way, there's a little preview of my next project. But we're not talking about that today. So uh, let me get to it. Um, I need to get going. Uh, I only have, you know, like eight hours or so to do work today. So I want to make the most of it. And I will talk to you all later. So uh, at the moment, I am 
attaching the flight stand receptacles to the, uh, the various flyers using little five minute epoxy putty, epoxy, not, I was going to say epoxy putty, but that's not correct because it's not putty, it's just epoxy. Uh, the important thing here is always make sure that you get an equivalent amount of both sides. I'm not really a huge fan of these uh, um, of the syringe applicator, but I couldn't find any of the kind that was just in the two um, two tubes. So you know, you take what you can get. Uh, I like epoxy putty. Uh, I like epoxy for this purpose. Um, rather than super glue because uh, it's got a better grab to it. Um, it's really going to hold on to the surfaces and it's not as brittle a hold as super glue. Key here is just going to be make sure that it's level when I get it in because you know getting it back out uh, would be a huge pain. There we go, that's better. You know what, this one seems to have a little dangly piece that's keeping it from being level in there. There we go, that's much better, I think. No, that one's got the same thing. All right, I gotta clean these up. Just had a little piece of plastic that was uh, keeping it from laying down flat. All right, that's that's better. on there because uh, in all of that removing and replacing I lost a bunch and you really want to make sure that uh, that hole is really full because that way the, uh, the pin has something to grab onto Seems pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. Let's see if we can get another one going here. Sometimes when you're wearing gloves, it's difficult to tell when you've got something on your hands that you're going to transfer to your piece, and you definitely don't want that to happen. If it was just your hands, you could kind of feel it if it was like feeling sticky. on there. That one. Also, you know what? I'm going to have to clean these up.
good. Wow, if I could knock out knock out all four before the stuff sets up, I'll be pretty happy. It says five minute epoxy, but it generally takes longer than that. It's a bit more. Usually ten minutes. before it really starts setting up. There we go. Yep. All right, so I have two spares. Or maybe I should go, oh no, <laughs> I have two other flyers I need to do. Well, I'll wait until this, uh, uh, until this batch sets up. And I know they're all they're all good and ready to mount, like this one. Yeah, so uh, I'll be back in a bit. So now it's finished. see all the uh, flyers on their flight bases. All the ground forces completed. And I'm very happy with the final results. But that's going to be it for this video. And I will have something more to show you in the very near future. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Um, and we'll talk to you all again later.